Hey, what's going on guys? This video, we're going to be creating a setter for our field. We have this first name. It's currently private. There's no way to assign it a value from the calling code. Taking a look at our program, you can see we get this error. So I'm going to be teaching you how to fix that and how we can assign a value to it in a more controlled manner using a setter. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. All right, so let's create that setter. It's gonna look a lot like this getter, but a little different. So we're gonna say public. Now, what is this going to return? Well, we're going to give it a string to update this first name. So we are providing an argument. We're not getting anything in return. So this is gonna be void. And by convention, it's gonna start with set and then first name. Now here's where we need to focus because we need to take the string as an argument, which means we need a parameter here of type string. Give it a name, it doesn't really matter. We'll just say fn for first name. Inside of here, all we gotta do is assign that value to this field, so we can say first name is equal to fn. There we go. Now back in our calling program, let's see what we do. In order to set this value, we no longer just use it directly, we actually use that method. So we put user dot, and you can see it in here, we have set first name. We pass that value in as an argument. So we say sub, getting rid of that extra junk there. There you go. Now we can get the name the same. So to see that, we'll just do sys out, user dot get first name. Running this, you can see it gives us sub in all capital letters because that was one of the things we defined inside of the getter. Taking a look at that, you can see it says return first name dot to uppercase. So really we have a whole new level of control here. We can modify the parameter passed in however we want and control what values can be assigned to this first name. So for example, we can do casing in here. We can say, hey, if this value is this, then you actually need to store this. So I hope you guys can see the value in the getters and setters. If you're just working with very simple classes, then you might be fine just having public fields and just accessing those directly. Now we're also going to wanna to do a getter and setter for this last name. So we'll do that now. Return last name, and then we'll create the setter, public. So let's give it a try in the calling program. We'll say user dot set last name and we'll pass in scriber. And then we'll also pass in a space and user dot get last name. And there we go, we get subscriber just like that. So that's working with setters. Hopefully that was nice and helpful. In the next video, we're gonna be creating a custom getter and setter just to get a little bit more experience with it. So see you then.